This is a bit of a public service announcement. For anybody who's thinking about customizing your figures or maybe quote unquote fixing a figure that you might have noticed a QC issue on. So I have this Tomax right here. And when he came in, or when he showed up in the mail, whatever, I took him out of the box and I noticed his little rubber diaper thing here was a bit askew. And when I looked underneath, the, uh, his grundle, <laughs> whatever, his undercarriage was bent uh, between the leg there. Now, he still posed fine. You're not really looking under there that much, but it always kind of bothered me. Well, we have a heat gun here. I don't customize figures. Uh, it's, I think it's cool and it's not really my thing, but I thought that I might be able to fix this figure's waistband or rubber waist crotch thing. So I got out the old heat gun, which we have for other reasons, but I thought, you know what? Let me get in there, get a little heat on this thing. It's soft rubber, it'll be fine. It'll loosen right up, I'll scooch. I'll scooch this little piece over and then it'll uh, cool off and it'll be good to go. Well, I sizzled this guy and I did not leave that heat gun on there for very long. So if <laughs> I sizzled his ass, I melted his taint <laughs> and it is not looking good. So I was quite disappointed. I only left it on there for a little bit, but it's not a skill that I'm very practiced in, clearly. So I'm just putting this out here, guys. If you have uh, inclinations to throw some heat on these figures with a heat gun to customize or make some corrections, what have you, be super careful. I uh, made a mistake. <laughs> Fortunately, these guys are pretty easy to get right now, so I grabbed myself another one. I wasn't planning on spending another 25 bucks on another Tomax, but here we go. And then I'll have this guy as an extra. I'm ending up with a shelf of just kind of randoms, and I think this uh, extra Tomax with the busted grundle will end up on that shelf. And I'll add my new Tomax to the regular display or whatever you want to call it. Let's open this one up and check out his tank. All right, looking good, looking good. It's not askew. His little diapers on nice and straight. <laughs> Smooth ass. All right, perfect. All right, I'm not gonna add any heat to this thing. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna leave him nice and pristine with his smooth booty and his straight taint. Moral of the story here, if you're thinking about doing anything with any of your figures, uh, particularly blasting them with a heat gun, which is what I just experienced, or anything else, I would suggest trying it out first on a figure you don't really care about or at least somebody that you can get relatively easy. I mean, I wouldn't want to have ruined a character that um, is going after market prices right now. That would hurt more. <laughs> um, so yeah, also it's not a total loss because now I have an extra Tomex. So if I do want to play around a little bit more, if I do want to see like, you know, how might I fare if I tried to paint one of these figures? Or maybe I just have some extra pieces of maybe clean Tomax's head. And maybe the new Tomax's head gets a scratch on it. I got an extra head. I don't know, whatever. Endless possibilities, I suppose. All right, well, that'll be it for this video. If you like this content, like, subscribe, etc. Uh, and I'll make more.
Until next time.